Good evening, friends. Welcome back to the shop. I want to take a minute and go over the 12 magnet wheel and how to set that up. I've seen uh, various people trying to set these up. I've also had to talk with people on the phone and through messages, and it seems like there's a lot of confusion out there, and I want to try to cut through the confusion and just make it as simple as possible. And the best way to explain it is these are two separate components and don't overcomplicate it. Don't, don't mix up the two things. It's two separate things we're trying to accomplish. First thing we're trying to do is get our engine at 60 degrees before top dead center. Now we got to assume that you've got a good pointer on your engine and it doesn't matter where that pointer is as long as that it's accurate. And, um, when it says zero that your engine is in fact at top dead center when it lines up with the pointer but again it doesn't matter the orientation doesn't matter people are getting confused because there's diagrams out there and they show you know the pointers here and the sensors here or the pointers here and the sensors there and it, it gives people a headache so real simple wherever your pointer is it doesn't matter as long as your pointer is accurate we're, we're going to say our pointer is right here all right we're going to rotate our engine until our pointer is lined up with 60 degrees, all right? So there's 60, pointer, pointer, 60, pointer, 60, that's it. There's nothing else to think about. Your pointer, your balancer, 60 on the balancer, lines up with the pointer. You're done. Don't move the engine. All right. Now, the other thing you've got is you've got a, a sensor, a crimp sensor, pickup. That could be anywhere, like every engine's different. You know, some guys have them here, some are up here, some over here. Wherever your sensor is, again, it doesn't matter. You don't have to mimic what I'm doing. Just have your engine at 60 and then note where your sensor is. Now we're gonna say, uh, my sensor is here, all right? It's up there at 10, 11 o'clock. All I gotta do, the wheel's got 12 magnets in it. All you have to do is put the wheel on there and clock it in such a way that one of the magnets, it doesn't matter which one, just any magnet lines up with the sensor. So this is at 60, we don't move this. And then we move the wheel around until we get it to line up with a magnet. Now, if you end up between two magnets and there's no, no provision for, for doing anything here, you'd have to slot the holes or else move your sensor a little bit. You can be off a good amount and, and fix it with the timing offset. So it's even that's not critical, but we try to get the sensor lined up to a magnet. doesn't matter if it's here, 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 as long as wherever your sensor is, it lines up with a magnet. Okay. So balancer to the 60 wheel to the sensor. Okay. And then you bolt all that shit together. Now that we have it clocked and oriented right, we're going to remove the magnet that is lined up with the sensor. That magnet goes bye-bye. And then you run a 12 minus 1, and you'll say it's on the second tooth. And that's it. So one more time for the people in the back. Balancer at 60. Doesn't matter where your sensor is. Put your wheel on and clock your wheel until a magnet lines up with the sensor. If you can't get it, it's either slotting the holes or moving the sensor slightly until you get it to line up and you're done. And you'll tell it the second tooth on 12 minus one wheel. Have a good night.